So, interview time, and we are joined by Reverend Son, who I got the pleasure to watch earlier. And you guys are fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. And for anyone not familiar with your band, how would you describe your music in five words? Well, that's one for you, mate. Five words. Um, oh, my God. Fusion, 70s, metal, Mastodon, Finn Lizzy. <laughs> fantastic. It's <laughs> <laughs> Finn Lizzy one word or two? <laughs> I th we'll count that as one. I think I, I think that's fine. That's sensible. That's sensible. <laughs> <laughs> and from your point of view, how was your set? Incredible. We've we, we're very lucky to have this opportunity to be playing Bloodstock, uh, progressing through metal to the masses in the Essex heats. It was incredible just seeing a crowd like that, stage production like that. It's just seeing the sharks flying is, oh my God, is yeah. amazing. Yeah, we call it the shark tank. So a group of fans getting pummeled by inflatable sharks is also known as the shark tank. But yeah, never in my wildest dreams did I think we'd be up there. But it was absolutely breathtaking. That, that's actually something I wanted to say. How the hell did you manage to pack all those inflatables? There were oh. so many. Oh, God bless Ollie. He's drove up here today with them. Yeah, bringing a shark tank. <laughs> yeah, literally bringing a shark tank. And we had Big Bertha as well, who we sent off into the abyss. Yeah. She's been with us for two years and she's finally yeah, gone. The, the Megalodon is now gone. Yeah. The Meg is out there the somewhere Meg. in the wild. Yeah. Shark heaven. Shark heaven. <laughs> yeah, not on your plate. <laughs> so, Essex Metal to the Masses winners. Yep. Was this the first time you've gone through the competition? wasn't we we went through it last year and sadly lost at the second heat to some really awesome bands the thing with metal to the masses is there's so much talent out there and every band that plays is deserving to get through absolutely incredible and we see um last year's winners in the crowd like supporting us so big thank you to arms of oblivion for being there today and how was the competition? Oh, sorry, no, you've already answered how was the competition without me actually saying that. Oh, so sorry. I'll, I'll ask Jump the, the gun a little bit. Because my, my brain went into a mind meld. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> it's the heat, don't worry. It is the heat. It's yeah. the heat. Oh, I don't tan where we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half Scottish. <laughs> so, are you here for the rest of the weekend? I am. Um, me and Ross came down last night. We have got the smallest tent known to man for two people. And <laughs> it's very cosy. He's very, very cosy. I think they're sleeping stacked rather than <laughs> next to each other. He holds me very gently. A lot, a lot of spooning going on. <laughs> sometimes you're a spoon, sometimes you're a fork. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you looking forward to watching? Oh my goodness, Clutch today. Uh, really excited for Clutch. Tomorrow myself, I'm very excited for Architects and Whitechapel. When's Beast in Black on? Beast in Black on Sunday as well. That's my yeah. one. That's the one I'm looking out for. Very Love them. This year. Very, very big lineup. And we've also heard you're currently working on your debut album. We are, we've been laying it down, we've been in the studio. 99.9% um, .9 of the instrument side is done. Vocals are next, it should be here before you know it. And we're very excited. Well, that's the thing, when, when can we expect to hear it? Oh, oh, I haven't got an ETA or a deadline because obviously there's mixing and mastering and when, stuff. When it's ready, it's ready. When, it, when, it's, when it's ready, it's ready. Yeah, you will know, you'll see it online, <laughs> you'll see it. So, what are the what are the plans for the band beyond the rest of the year or the rest of this year? What have you got coming up next? Well, rest of this year we got we still got a load of gigs to fulfil for the rest of the year. Uh, it, next week on Wednesday we're going back to Essex, back to our stomping ground, to Coda Colchester, which is where Metal to the Masses took place. That's where all that happened. Um, what else have we got? We've got many, many a gig in August, a lot around Essex, and then we're travelling further afield in yeah. the current months as well. Going back to Carton Horses in uh, October time, yep. birthplace of Iron Maiden. Yep. Great venue. Yeah, Great fantastic. Venue. We played it last year, it's a fantastic place, love yeah. it. So, final question of the normal section before we get to the quick fire. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> what is the one tip you'll give to bands thinking of applying to Metal to the Masses next year? Don't give up, just be yourself, be genuine. Just don't put on a facade. Like if you're this kind of band, just be yourself and be humble as well. Like I know it can be like, oh, we're a rock star, I've got an ego, but at the end of the day, we're all hardworking people. And just be yourself and you'll go far. You'll go so, so far. Whatever ideas you have, just do it. Just do it. Don't be conscious about, oh, I wonder if it'll go down well. Just try it. Shia LaBeouf. Literally, do it. with just sharks, it's, it's it. sink or swim. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so we've got some quick fire questions. So these are the first two because it's Lemmy Motorhead Truck Lemmy Day. Yep. Have you got a favourite Motorhead track? Oh, uh, I'm a big fan of We Are the Road Crew, and obviously Ace of Spades is a bloody legendary song. I was gonna say Evolution. Oh. Going from yeah. the WWE uh, era oh, side of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, really like that. Totally shout. get that. Yeah. Big shout. What is your favourite crisp? Oh, 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 see, um, I am a savoury boy through and through. Uh, you can't go wrong with the Texas barbecue Pringles. Oh, oh. In interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's I don't like, think we've had many go for that. No? You, you, once you pop, mate, you do not <laughs> you stop. Can't stop. No. Yeah. McCoy's cheddar and onion for me. Oh. I like the crinkle cut. Okay, yeah. Quality. <laughs> Right, let's pull a few random quick fires. Okay. Oh no. I thought that was the quick fire. <laughs> on on the subject of things you've eaten, what's the worst thing you've eaten? Chicken hearts. Hey? Yeah, I went to this barbecue and I thought it was like a chicken satay, and I'm eating it. I was like, this chicken tastes a little bit off. And my mate's granddad went, Oh no, they're chicken hearts. I thought I was in some kind of voodoo ritual. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ, yeah, that, it, that is It was really weird. Insane. It was, I was in like this mansion, there was a like a mural of Mick Jagger, which is probably as big as this. I was eating chicken hearts and the toilet was playing You Raised Me Up in the background. I didn't know what was going on. But probably chicken hearts. <laughs> that I, I think that is genuinely one of the most insane answers we've ever had. It was like a 13. I mean mine's more generic, and mine's just liver. Oh yeah. Liver. <laughs> oh, <laughs> liver's lovely. A bit of liver, a bit of onion. Questionable. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Must be a northern thing. Oh, okay. maybe. Yeah, we yeah. don't know about that stuff down there. We just have Pringles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was your best subject at school? <laughs> Ironically, I failed music. <laughs> so it wasn't that. Um, I, I haven't got many GCSEs, if I'm honest with you. I think it may have been math. Yeah, math for me as yeah, well. Math yeah, math was my best one. I'm fully on board with that. That was my best. <laughs> Final quick fire then. What's your favourite film? Or Evil Dead 2. American Psycho. Oh. Oh. Okay, so Evil Dead 2. I'm interested why you went for Evil Dead 2, not Evil Dead 1. Oh, it's just like, obviously number 2 is like kind of a remake of number 1, but Raimi had a little bit more budget behind it, and just Bruce Campbell's reaction with his cutting his hand off. It was just so over the top and so iconic with the deer head and the... <laughs> It's just everything. I love it. I love it more I, than... I am a huge fan of Evil Dead, Evil, well, the whole Evil Dead collection. Yeah. And especially Sam Raimi as well. Sam yeah. Raimi is such a great director. Yeah. American Psycho. Yeah. Let's talk about that. I just like how articulate Christian Bale is. How he is throughout he, he the whole thing. He brings the book to life. Yeah. He really does. Yeah, he really, really does. I mean, I know there's some bits they had to cut because they couldn't say Rolex because they didn't agree with it and stuff like this. But it more or less follows the book, and it's just it's just an interesting watch more than anything. I, I, I think of all the questions we've done, they are two perfect answers. Because <laughs> I love both of those films. Yeah, yeah. yeah 10 out of 10 films. Yeah, Fantastic. Absolutely. It's been an absolute pleasure, boys. Thank you very and much. We will um, hope to catch you on the road again soon. Absolutely. Oh, excellent.